This is the Getting Started with GameLift series. In this episode, we're going to package your build files and upload those to the GameLift service. Let's get to it. And welcome back to the Getting Started with Game Lift series. Uh, I am Derek. Uh, with me still is uh, Al Murray. So in our, our last segment, we sort of took a look at where you know our game needs to be and what Game Lift can do for us. But now we we're ready to upload our files. So as I understand it, our our multiplayer game sample needs to be able to be run locally on, on our build machine, and that we've integrated the GameLift SDK uh, uh, into our code so that we can communicate with GameLift. So where, where do we go from here? Okay, so once we've got our local, local uh, server and mm -hmm. integrated with uh, GameLift, we're gonna create a build package. And here's an example one. Uh, inside the build package is uh, the executable is somewhere. So there's our build execute or our server executable. Um, and then in the root here, we also have uh, an installation batch file. The installation batch file here uh, contains instructions on how to install any dependencies mm -hmm. uh, for the system. In this case, we're going to do Visual C redistributable package. There it is there, so uh, the, the install.bat, or if you're using Linux, we're going to use a shell script, install.sh instead. We're going to look for that. We're going to look for either one of them in the root of the build package. And then you need all of the dependencies for the, uh, for the installation. And you also need anything that the executable needs in this build package. Gotcha. Uh, now, you, this particular build package was exported from, from Lumberyard using mm -hmm. our, our multiplayer sample, which is available in 1.14. But you, as long as you're able to construct the proper build package, you can export your game from any engine that you like, correct? Yes, yes. So either a proprietary engine you've built yourself or Unity or Unreal-based stuff or anything else. Gotcha. So yeah, we're completely engine agnostic here. All righty. So now that we have our build package, we've included all of our dependencies, and we have our install script, how do we actually go about uploading you know, this, this build package to GameLift? Well, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to take the uh, build root here uh, for the package, and we're going to put this into a, an AWS command line command uh, to upload the build. And you can see pretty straightforward. AWS game lift upload build, so that's the name of the command. We're going to give the build package a name, so when it appears in game lift, it has some, uh, you know, it represents your game, a version that's unique to this package. Mm -hmm. The build root, which was the folder we were in just a moment ago, and then two optional uh, parameters describing the operating system. You have your choice of, as mentioned, Windows 2012 uh, server, release two, or uh, the latest version of Amazon Linux. Uh, and then whichever uh, region you want to place the build in. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to execute that command, and that'll do the upload. And it uh, literally just goes ahead and puts that in GameLift. All right, so this will upload our build package to GameLift. Now that we've got, now, now that we have those files stored within GameLift, we're ready to start creating fleets, as I understand it, correct? Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, what we'll do, though, is we're going to go into uh, the console and see the uh, build when we've uploaded it. Mm -hmm. There's the console here, and we're going to jump into the uh, GameLift dashboard. And then you can see that the build has been uploaded, and uh, it's ready to go with its, its build ID that was, uh, that was generated for it. I see. Well, I'm really excited to... to to start creating fleets and seeing how we can connect players together using step, game yes. lift. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get to that in our next segment. So uh, stick with us and we'll get to fleet creation uh, right after the break. Thanks for watching. If you like this series, leave a comment below and hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates.